let's look at the basic outline of a program. I have just started C Lion, an editor to use, well, to make programs. And this thing, this full IDE, will allow me to create programs. So I'm going to start with a hello world. And I'll create this new project. And it throws everything together and gives me some starting code. So I have this hello world right here. Let's talk about each of the pieces of this program. So right here at the top, I have an include statement, include IO stream. And then down here, I have this int main, Bob open curly brace, then some code, and then a close curly brace. Inside of the code, I have a STD for standard, a C out, and I have hello world and standard end L. And then I have this return zero. All right, first of all, when I create my code, I compile it, I create an object, and then my object is linked with other things. The IO stream right here is referencing a header file that's part of the standard C++ library. And then this in this header file, there are all kinds of functions for reading and writing to the console, for reading and writing to files, all kinds of things you would need for input and output. And this header file, when I build my program by including IO stream, the compiler knows that if I have something, some function I'm calling, and it doesn't recognize that function as right here in this code, it can go and look at the header file and see if there is a declaration for that function. And in that case, it uses whatever that declaration is and tries to, to pretend that it's going to be that. When it compiles and builds my object, it then links it with the libraries. And so I can use those pieces of code. The main function is the main program that runs. Whenever my code starts, main is the first thing executed. And inside of this main function, there are different pieces. There's a standard C out and a standard end L with some text in between and then these other, well, less than signs here. What this does is it says we're going to use the standard libraries C out right here and we're going to then use that in order to print out the hello world to the screen and after we're done printing that out we're going to end with a end line character. Now the end line character is typically seen as a slash end character, although slash n can be tricky and harder to see, so we use the standard end l for end line right there. The return zero maps up with this int right here on int main. Whenever a program runs, if the run, program runs successfully, it's supposed to return a value of zero. And so this thing has a return zero to indicate that it completed successfully. And so it knows it ran well. If it has an error, then it usually print out something else or return something different as the integer that is returned. If I want to run this program, I can go up to run and I can run hello world. And you can see down below the code ran and it executed the statement to print out hello world and it finished with an exit code of zero so that exit code zero is what you see right here with this return zero if i take out the return zero and i save this and i run it again it runs and it also returns with an exit code of zero so it has a default return code of zero just to so see where You'll see a lot of examples, like examples in, in books and things like that, that don't have a return value. Just note that it usually does return some value, even if you don't explicitly tell it what it is. All right. Another thing to think about is this standard C out. So if we want to, we can just say C out right here and end L right here. However, we need to tell it 
where C out and end L are. So I can try running it right now. If I were to run in this whole world, it has all kinds of errors and says, I don't know what the C out thing is. Maybe you want to use standard C out? I don't know. So you have a couple options. You could type in using namespace STD, which says, well, okay, we're using the standard library. And so now it knows, okay, C out and end L are part of the standard library. It knows what they are. It recognizes them. I save that and I can run it and it runs and it produces my code and says, hello world, Xcode zero. If I don't want to include the entire standard library, I could use just part of it. So I can say, I want to use, well, I want to use the standard libraries C out, C out. And then suddenly it knows what C out is, but it doesn't know what end L is. So I could add that one as well. So using STD and L. And that will make it so we can use this as well. I can save this and I can run the program. And it, well, actually I need to run it. I should build it. Run Hello World. And it builds it and it runs it. And there we have the Hello World running correctly. So you can see that you can, you have different using statements. And they can either be a using a namespace or they can be using pieces of the standard library if you don't want to include the entire standard library. And then you can use those individually in your code. Ideally, you probably want to use C out and endl without the std in front. So I would use the using C out and using standard endl just right here so that you can explicitly declare them or declare that you're using them without using the full entire namespace and all the other things that come with it. it makes it cleaner code and it also makes this part easier to read so that is a quick little introduction to the code um there you go